assalamu alaikum students uh, in this lecture i will tell you about some tips of paragraph writing uh, how to write a paragraph uh, what are the characteristics of a paragraph and what are the essential elements of good paragraph and how to find the title of a paragraph Uh, so first of all uh, let's see what is paragraph a paragraph is a group of sentences organized around a central topic in fact the cardinal rule of paragraph writing is to focus on one idea uh, there are certain characteristics of writing a good paragraph uh, and a basic uh, paragraph structure usually consists of five sentences the topic sentence uh, three supporting sentences and a concluding sentence but the secret to paragraph writing lay in four essential elements which if used correctly can make an okay paragraph into a great paragraph now what are these essential elements these are essential elements um, uh, is unity coherence and completeness uh, so first of all uh, uh, i will tell you what is unity unity in a paragraph begins with the topic sentence every paragraph has one single controlling idea that is expressed in its topic sentence which is typically the first sentence of the paragraph a paragraph is unified around this main idea with the supporting sentences providing detail and discussion in order to write a good topic sentence think about your theme and all the points you want to make decide which points drives the rest and uh, then write it as your topic sentence the second essential element of a, uh, writing a good paragraph is order order refers to the way you organize your supporting sentences whether you choose chronological order order of importance or another logical presentation of detail a solid paragraph always has a definite organization order helps the reader grasp your meaning and avoid confusion the third element of a good paragraph is called coherence coherence is the quality that makes your writing writing understandable sentences uh, within a paragraph need to connect to each other and work together as a whole one of the best ways to achieve coherence is to use transition words these words create bridges from one sentence to the next uh, you can use transition words that show order uh, uh, the transition words that show order are called uh, first second and third and uh, another type of transition words are called special words uh, which are above below and uh, some transition words uh, are used uh, in order to uh, create logic uh, which are furthermore in addition and in fact and in writing a paragraph using a consistent verb tense and point of view are also important ingredients for coherence the fourth uh, element of a good paragraph is called completeness it means a paragraph is well developed If all sentences clearly and sufficiently support the main idea then your paragraph is complete if there are not enough sentences or enough information to prove your thesis then the paragraph is incomplete usually three supporting sentences in addition to a topic sentence and concluding sentence sentence are needed for a paragraph to be complete the concluding sentence or last sentence of the paragraph should summarize your main idea by reinforcing your topic sentence now i will tell you uh, certain types of paragraphs uh, usually four types of uh, paragraphs uh, are used um uh, you can say that these uh, four types are called four types of writing as well uh, that are descriptive narrative expository and persuasive descriptive paragraphs describe something and shows the reader what a thing or person is like the words chosen in the description often appeal to the five senses of touch smell sight sound and taste descriptive paragraphs can be artistic and may deviate from grammatical norms uh, uh, the examples of descriptive paragraph are uh, describe an inspiring personality 
describe a haunted place describe a place you loved as a child and describe a beautiful location in nature so these can be the topic in descriptive paragraph now narrative paragraph uh, this type of paragraph tells a story the writer writes the detail of a particular incident in a storytelling way there is a sequence of action or there is a clear beginning middle and end to the paragraph uh, the topics uh, of uh, narrative paragraph can be uh, uh, like uh, an unexpected incident a memorable trip my childhood memories etc the third type of paragraph is called expository paragraph this type of paragraph explains uh, something or provides instruction it could also describe a process and move the reader step by step through a method it often in, uh, requires research but it's possible that the writer is able to rely on his or her own knowledge or and expertise Uh, the topic like uh, corruption coeducation information technology pollution uh, are the examples of expository paragraph and the fourth type of uh, paragraph is called persuasive paragraph uh, the, uh, in this paragraph uh, writer tries to get the reader to accept a particular point of view or understand the writer's position it's useful when building an argument it often requires the collection of facts and research um, uh, in order to support your arguments so in this type of uh, paragraph uh, you may present your arguments uh, in favor of any uh, topic or you can go against that topic as well uh, for example is is dress code a uh, good idea for universities uh, should protesters be allowed to block traffic these are the examples of uh, persuasive paragraphs now uh, another question uh, uh, which uh, which is usually asked uh, while writing a paragraph uh, and uh, it is uh, considered a little bit difficult to Uh, find the title of a paragraph because sometimes students are asked to suggest a title of a paragraph uh, especially while doing comprehension uh, so the easiest way to find the paragraph is that uh, you can find the title of a, uh, the paragraph in the first line of the paragraph you may find it in the middle of the paragraph or it may be there in the last sentence of the paragraph thank you